to be recognized and you know we take pride in the fact that we were building something really good around here um you know it's a little bit weird just taking a break kind of in the middle of the week from the grind and everything but it'll be cool and once we get back you know we're already focused on the grind for next year and uh, so this isn't going to be any one of those things that will take us off of that. Joshua, this is almost sort of like the last bow for this 2014 championship. Does it feel that way a little bit? I mean, does it feel like it's time to put some things in the past? Definitely. Um, as far as everything's going around here, we've definitely put last year in the past, and we're really just working towards next year. we got a new team and a new legacy to build. Uh, we've got something to grind for, and we haven't proven anything yet, so we got to keep that in mind. Joshua, is this surreal? I mean, to I mean, CSPs, there's going to yeah. be some famous people there. Uh, it's, it's a little bit crazy just kind of knowing some of the names that are going to be there uh, that have been there in the past and how big of an event it is, and we're just, uh, we take pride in being out there. Josh, how, how focused is this team now? I mean, you've got these distractions, it's a cool thing, but you've also got the business you've got to be there. How do you um, I think we're a really focused team. Uh, we do a great job, and our leaders do a really good job of making sure that guys stay on track. Um, the biggest thing for us is that we have to block out a lot of what's coming from outside, and that's positive and negative because we hear a little bit of everything and just kind of trust what's going on in the building. Josh, how did they pick who got to go? Um, I'm not exactly sure. Um, you know, <laughs> coach came to me and asked me if I wanted to go, and I said, yeah, it would probably be a fun trip to take, so uh, <laughs> I was really fortunate. You think, like, Bosa's mad that he doesn't get to go? Joey doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> who's, the, who's the person you would most like to meet, another athlete that – Oh, that's a really good question. I don't know. Um, I honestly don't know. It would just be fun to kind of schmooze with everybody, I think. Joshua, you guys are up the best team. How do you like your guys' chances? Um, honestly, I think that it would be tough. The other good teams up there, the Warriors, obviously, and then the uh, women's national soccer team and what they did. So I wouldn't be surprised if they walked away with it. How about Cardell? Uh, up for an individual award. I mean, this is a guy who, you know, in November, you don't, you don't know if he's ever going to see any spotlight, and yeah. now he's had so much over the last six, eight months. Uh, it's a great story, and he's a great kid, and everybody says that, but, I mean, uh, I'm pretty close with him, and he's just a great guy, so all the, the notoriety that he's getting right now, he definitely deserves, and I know that he's working and grinding, too, and kind of staying focused, but uh, it's going to be fun for him to be out there. Joshua, you look around the country, there are Guys are getting in trouble, different places and stuff. Y'all have had that in the past and mm -hmm. stuff. Do y'all talk about that much? I mean, about walking the straight and narrow, or at least the, the fairly narrow uh, yeah. during these times? We talk about it every day because this is a time of year where things can get out of hand. Um, you know, coaches aren't around as much. They're taking vacations and everything. And, um, you know, there's a lot of free time because you're in one class and it's warm out, so everybody's out on campus. And so you, have, you really have to keep an eye on that. And um, that's where it comes back to leadership and the way that we're trained to to press pause in those situations where something can get out of hand. And I think we do a really good job of just policing each other and making sure guys stay out of trouble. What's your take on how the grind has gone, how you guys have worked uh, this offseason? Uh, we've done a pretty good job, and uh, it's been tough because of everything that's going on, um, different guys coming back from different things, and um, you know, just the whole atmosphere of the summer. They're really getting after us because of how much success we had last year, and the fact that we got to put that kind of in the past. So. Um, I think things are going really well. We're seeing a lot of leadership being developed and a lot of young guys coming along, too. What's Mickey been like? Has he been tougher on you because of the success? He's always tough on us. I mean, <laughs> you just kind of go in there and, and let him do what he does. So um, to say he's tougher, I don't know if that's a, a, a good way to put it, but is he tough as he's ever been? Absolutely. Does the 2000 Rep Club, did it, has it come in handy for some guys? I mean, do you feel fresher? I mean, I think you're in it, right? I mean, yeah, um, definitely feel fresh. I mean, we do a great job around here of, of uh, uh, sports performance and taking care of our bodies and making sure that um, we just we're we're careful and we're smart about the way that we train. And so, guys usually do feel fresh. And there's a time in the summer, like right now, where you don't necessarily need to feel fresh, and you don't want guys feeling fresh. You want them hurting a little bit. Um, that's a part of the grind too. But for the most part, I mean, everybody's pretty healthy and. Uh, guys are taking care of themselves. Do you feel like in that regard, though, there, there's somebody watching you almost all the time? I mean, mm -hmm. trying to see if you're in distress or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean, Joshua? Yeah. Um, I think that's a, the great thing. Our staff is 100% uh, invested in us, and they're here so many hours of the day making sure everything's going smooth and making sure guys are in the training room that need to be in there and that, you know, the food is right and everything else. So, um, you know, we, we pay a lot of attention to it, but it's for a good reason. Hey, you guys also... 
Alabama tried to do a three-peat, didn't work. Then they came back last year, it didn't work. And what do y'all just among yourselves talk about about scaling the mountain again? I mean, it's it's a tough. I mean, what, what during this time? Of, you know, I mean, what, what's going on? What are the conversations like about not taking things for granted, et cetera? Yeah, I mean, the conversation at this point is uh, you got to develop players on the team. You got to develop leadership. Uh, you got to get your body right, training wise. Get your mind right for going into camp. And then the conversation in camp is let's go win. Uh, a game and that's the first game you got to take it one game at a time so even at this point right now we're not talking about uh, scaling the mountain we're just talking about getting a team together guys that can play and they're going to be ready to go to camp you went to Costa Rica a month or so ago mm -hmm. you're going to LA now yeah. uh, you're going places as a football player yeah. what? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what does that mean to you I mean to have those opportunities uh, it's been a blessing and that's part of the reason why I came to Ohio State is to have opportunities like this and I didn't think that they were going to come the way that they did but um, it's been fantastic, and I'm glad to have been able to do some of the things that I'm doing. Who's going to give the acceptance speech if you guys win? I have no clue. Uh, <laughs> you get Jerry Emig up there. So <laughs> <laughs> what do you think you guys are going there as a nominee? <laughs> Drop the mic. As a nominee for one of the best teams of last year. Braxton was hurt all of last year. Mm -hmm. He's going along with you guys yeah. on this trip. What do you think of that? He's a big part of our team. He's a big part of everything that we did last year. And, um, you know, he was he was quiet, but he was definitely a leader, and he was, you know, always pushing for us, always wanting guys to get better, and um, he was just he was always there. And so it's big that he's on this trip because I don't know if we would have, especially toward the end with uh, the quarterback situation and everything. I don't know if we would have been successful without some of the expertise that he had and, and what he lent to some other guys. Did you ever think in your head that there was a chance he would not be back this year? Uh, no, I knew he was coming back. Um, as much time as I spent around him, it was all Ohio State, all just training. He would be up at like two in the morning, you know, running around campus or in the gym, just training, getting back, trying to get his body right so he could come out here and play for Ohio State and perform. So, anyone asked about the quarterback competition? Have you gone a whole like news conference and haven't asked? What is it going to be like, Josh? Uh, those guys are going to get after it, and they're going to compete, and that's all we ask for in every position is that guys compete. And, um, you know, you hear it every time we talk about it, but they really do care a lot about each other. So it's not going to be one of those nasty competitions. Um, obviously, I have a lot of faith in our coaching staff and what they can do, and so they'll pick the best candidate for the job, but it'll be interesting going into camp to see what happens. Josh, I've been on a bunch of radio inter interviews from around the country and stuff, and they keep asking this one question, though. Does, does that kind of like situation have a chance to divide a team? No. When you've got three, and, and why not? Uh, just because of the kind of team that we are. If it was a different team, a different uh, culture, maybe a different scenario, it could, but um, you know, the way that we play for each other and the way that we care, um, you know, it's kind of your nameless guy when you're out there, and you know, especially for our defense, the way that we play is we're just silver reports. It's not about you know Joshua Perry and Darren Lee and Joey Bosa and everybody else in the defense. It's literally about the guys out there all playing together as a unit. Same thing goes for the offense. So um, in a different scenario, yeah, I could divide a team, but I don't think that'll happen with our team.